Okay, so now that you have learned a little bit about video editing, adding titles, how to create new sequences, the video editing tools that you have in Adobe Premiere Pro, it's time to export. Now this is going to be very similar across all video editing applications. There will be an export option typically in the file menu. So you can see here that I've added new titles, I've put together uh, a bunch of clips. There is actually new music that I've added to this video and let me just quickly show you a great place to find music for your videos. This is a great tip. Uh, so YouTube actually has a free music library. If you log into your YouTube account, which you have to create to use this, then go to your basically your creative studio and then click this create audio library button you will find hundreds of songs that you can use for your own videos and there's lots of good ones there's some that aren't so great but uh, hey it's free music so now you are ready to export go up to file export media in different applications that will just call be called export video export quicktime file or just export in adobe premiere pro a dialog box opens up with all the options that you have for video. Now there's lots of different options uh, for formats and sizes. There's presets which are great and that's typically what I use. I just go to the preset for YouTube 1080p HD which is HD quality for online viewing. But a quick rule of thumb for a great export to play online is to make sure that it's H.264 setting or format which is it might be under QuickTime for you uh, but H.264 is the type of QuickTime format and then for your size down here you can change the size uh, just choose 1920 by 1080 for full HD you can do 1280 by 720 if it's a smaller video and you didn't shoot in 1920 1080 HD up back up top actually you can choose where you want to save it so I'm just going to save it to my San Diego folder I'm going to create an exports and I'll just call this v1 usually I just name my versions depend because usually I have a bunch of versions and that's pretty much it. If you want, you can go down to this bitrate settings and you can change it to VBR2 pass, which has a little bit higher quality. It's practically invisible to the naked human eye. And then same with this target bitrate. If you want to decrease this to eight, that will reduce the file size, which you can see here, the estimated file size is 58 megabytes. If you choose 16, that's, higher quality so that might be noticeable uh, to your naked eye uh, but if you really need to just get a small file size decreasing the bitrate is the way to go and then you can either just click click export or you cl can click this Q button if you click Q it will take it over to MIDI media encoder which is another Adobe application the reason why you would want to use Media Encoder rather than just export straight from Premiere Pro is it allows you to export but also work within Premiere Pro at the same time. So for example, I do a lot of projects including this course where I'm editing multiple videos at once. I have a bunch of different tracks and sequences that I've created that I can work on while I'm exporting the previous version. So in Media Encoder, it will pop up and you just click this play button and it will export your video and it will show up in that file folder that we designated it to export to. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I also have some other resources on the Video School Online YouTube channel. So just search Video School Online on YouTube and there's lots more great stuff for video editing in Premiere Pro. Uh, and also specifically for different ways to add export. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.